So you have made your perfect flight and want to repeat exactly this flight path in the future. You have to repeat the same flight path for a construction site. I simply want to repeat your flight in different seasons of the year. But for repeating your flight, the only thing you have is your flight log. Now the question is how to convert your flight log into a waypoint mission. And this is what I'll explain today. For this approach, I will use AirData, a platform for storing your flight logs. And if you don't want, or in the US cannot anymore, store your logs on DJI server, may be a good alternative. As always, let's start with the agenda, what we'll cover today. And if there are chapters or topics you're already familiar with, or may have seen those already in my other videos, feel free to skip those and jump directly into the ones you insisted in. We start with the introduction to air data, how it works, what you can do with it. We then upload the flights to air data. And then we download a file in the CSV format from air data. This is quite big, so we have to reduce the size to get a meaningful waypoint mission afterwards. We then convert it into a KMZ file, create a basic waypoint mission on our controller, then upload the waypoint mission. And as a bonus, I will show you how to do the fine tuning. If you don't like the exact flight path the log is giving you, you can tweak it to your needs. But now let's start with the introduction to air data. So first of all, a short introduction into air data, who is not familiar with this platform. If you're already syncing your flights to DJI, you may recognize that what you get out of there is not too much information. So this is where air data comes into play. If you upload your data to air data, then you get much more information. First of all, the starting page. You see at a glance, uh, how is it going out for flying, your recent flights, but also your batteries, how they're doing, how many charges you have on each battery, how many flights each battery did, and for sure the flights. And this is the most interesting part. Now in the details of your flight log, you first of all get the overview of your flight path. You see some basic information like the airtime, takeoff battery, landing battery. And now you can get much more information if you use, for instance, the notification tab. Here we show the battery percentage during the flight, but very important, all messages which you receive sometimes on the controller are locked here as well, including the timestamp when that happened. For uploading your flight logs, there are a variety of options depending on the device you use for flying. You find detailed instructions in the help article from AirData. I will leave the link for all mentioned help articles in the description below. The easiest way is, if you're using a smartphone for flying your drone, to install the AirData mobile app. The mobile app will sync with your DJI Fly app and sends the log straight to AirData server. That's it. And this approach works even if you disable the automatic sync with DJI servers, which, by the way, is disabled since June 2024 for US pilots. See the link in the description below for more details. When using the DJI RC2 controller, you have, let's say, one and a half option. You can sync your flight logs to DJI server as usual with the DJI Fly app. Then, you have to set up your DJI login credentials in your AirData account settings. This way, AirData will automatically, once a week, sync with DJI, or you can manual force sync from AirData. Why one and a half options? Well, as stated before, the sync between the Fly app and DJI servers is disabled for US pilots since June 2024. Which brings us to the second option, the manual upload. For manual uploading logs from the DJI RC2 to AirData, there's a dedicated help article describing step by step how this works. The basic steps here are 
connect your DJI RC2 to your computer. Copy your flight logs to your computer. And finally, upload them via the manual upload page to AirData. Again, you'll find the link for this help article in the description below. For downloading your flight logs, you have to navigate to your logs, flights, and then choose the overview tab. There you find options to download in different formats. We will pick the CSV file for the download. So just click on it and download the file. But remember, this file is really big. Let's have a look at it. After opening the CSV file, you recognize that you will see a location for every 100 millisecond. This is too much for converting it into a useful waypoint mission. So now we need a tool to somehow reduce this number. For reducing the number of waypoints from the log, I will use the air data to Litchi converter from the Litchi utilities. Now you may think you need a Litchi license or a login from Litchi to do this. No, we will skip this. For the fastest way, we only use it to convert it and then finally convert it to a KMZ file, but later to that one. So first step we have to do is uh, browse for your CSV file we downloaded before from AirData. Here we are. And then there are some basic settings. So the desired number of waypoints is the most important one. Uh, you can play a little bit with the numbers you want to have. So I will take, uh, let's say we start with, uh, with the 70. And we can also uh, set the distance from the home to the first waypoint for the takeoff position. And uh, I ignore this for the moment. And you can say skip waypoints that are too close together. So let's give it a try. And now we have our newly created uh, mission waypoints for our upload. It's from my taste a little bit too much, so I go back and uh, change it from 70 to, let's say, to 40. And do it again. So this looks better, so I'm satisfied with that one. And the only thing left to do is download the CSV file we just created. Now the next step is to convert the Litchi waypoint mission we created just before to a waypoint mission in the KMZ file format. For that one, we use another Litchi utility. This is the converter you see here on my screen. So what we will do now, we first of all browse for the file we just created. Voila, here we are. There you see the R data dash two. This is the one we created with the utility before. So we pick this file. Then we can also make some adjustments like the speed, however you want to have it. What should happen if the drone will lose the signal to the controller? And uh, that's it. And then uh, we'll generate the waypoint mission in the KMZ format. And that's it. Now we have it. Only thing left to do is uh, we have our 40 waypoints, download the KMZ file and import it in our DJI controller. So I download it here. And the next step will be the import into the controller. Now before uploading the KMZ file, in my case to the DJI RC2 controller, <clears throat> I first have to create a basic waypoint mission. To do this, I enter the menu for the waypoint mission, set to random points, doesn't matter where they are, just to have a basic mission which I need to replace afterwards. 
So I exited. And save my file. So now I have to replace this basic waypoint mission with the one created by the utility. Now for uploading the newly created KMZ file, I have to replace the basic waypoint mission I just created before. So therefore I look into my controller, the DJI RC2, under waypoints, and the last folder is the one from the mission I just created, the basic one with two waypoints. Now this cryptic name I have to replace over here. Easiest way is just to mark it over here, copy and paste it over here. This way I make sure that I have exactly the same name. The only thing left to do is uh, delete the basic waypoint mission over here and then copy the renamed file from the Mac into this folder and that's it. So far we took the fast track. We exported our flight log from AirData and then used the AirData to Litchi utility to convert it into a Litchi format and then without further refinement we converted this file, the Litchi to Waypoint mission, into a KMZ file, which we then uploaded via PC to the controller. But what if you want to do some fine tuning? You don't want to import exactly one to one the log file into your controller. For the refinement, I can use Litchi. Here I'm in Litchi, and uh, we'll now import the converted file from air data to the litchi format. I have to first pick the file and now watch out with the dash 2 zsv. This is the file we need for this one. This is the converted file from air data to litchi format. And we take this one, upload it and import it as a new mission. And here we are. And now you can really fine tune the way the waypoint mission should look like. You can take points, for example, here and drag it. You can change uh, the actions you want to have, the direction the drone is facing. So whatever you like, you can adapt it the way you want to have it. And then save it and convert this file into the KMZ file. And this is the one if you want to do very fine granular tuning of the flight path. To wrap up, let me summarize how the fine tuning workflow looks like. We start again with the exported file from AirData, the CSV file. We then use the AirData to Litchi utility to convert it into a Litchi format. But then we import this file into Litchi. We do the fine-tuning, as described before, whatever you like. We then export it again into a CSV file. And then, with the Litchi to Waypoint Mission utility, convert it to a KMZ file. And then upload this file into your controller. I hope this was helpful for you. And if you like my channel, please consider to subscribe. Thank you for watching.